All right, now on part three. Okay, take two. I didn't film anything that I did last night on the bike, sorry. Just got sidetracked with working on other things and then I jumped on it and started banging stuff out. But either way, I made a radiator mount to mount the radiator up so I could take it off my workbench. I added a gusset in for the motor mount on the rear side. Uh, I only welded the top bit. Now I got a weld underneath before I put my next one on the bottom. I'm just using some like inch and a half. I think it's eight inch thick steel, nothing crazy. Um, pretty sure it's eight inch, it's pretty flimsy. I didn't, I didn't want to go three sixteenths with it uh, just cause it's only going to be like a support so the, the pieces can't flex in and out. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about here. I just got to clean up some of my splatter, but that's the little plate that I added in to help keep the motor mount straight, I guess. Um, the rear, I'm going to have to redo all of this in a sense. Not, I'm going to have to remove the bracket either way because I've already messed up my one drill point I just had to like notch it over but I mean I might have to do the same thing here um, with the uh, brake I might try to save this bracket or just rip the whole thing off and redo it but the problem is is that my brake caliper when I mounted it, it's not very good photo but it's uh, hitting the the caliper, the rotor's hitting the caliper, so I drilled my hole probably half inch too high or maybe less, I mean a half inch, quarter inch, yeah, too high, so I need to drop it down or just drill another hole right below it, make a notch, so that way I can adjust the, the rotor or caliper, caliper. That way I can adjust the caliper up and down. That's what I did for the rear. I need to get a longer brake line to run it correctly because right now it's just kind of slung up in there so that way I don't have to uh, deal with it and it's kind of just out of the way so I can keep it mounted up. Um, I welded up the radiator support this I'm gonna have to redo because I was hitting it one-handed I guess with my eye closed I'm not sure the other ones came out uh, pretty let's clean this one real quick and just see clean that bad boy up So yeah, that one came out a horrible. That one came out perfect, I would say, in a sense. Came out really good. I don't know what I was doing on the other one. This is this side, and then that's the top side there to the frame. And that's this side. I gotta finish up this little corner bit here, clean off that stuck wire there, and um, the hardware that I'm using, just Tempo right now. I'm gonna throw some rubber, um, bushings in there so that way it'll fill in the gap and then isolate the radiator so it can't crack it um, what else did I do oh I cut the chain down so the chains all oh, got the new sprocket in so that way it's the right pitch cut the chain down so it fits um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do some sort of roller here with a guide to help keep the chain um, from I mean, it's close to the frame, so I don't know how it'll how it'll pan out, I guess, but it's close. I got the adjusters on, um, the chain tension is, so I don't, the wheel is just kind of, it's, it's aligned and whatnot in there, but the chain's, I don't know, that's not bad, but yeah, you can see if it hops up and down, it's going to hit the frame a little bit. Um, We'll see what I'll have to do with that. I'll figure it out. But other than that, I still need to <clears throat> pull the engine, weld underneath that plate right there, 
and then I'll probably weld another one on the bottom just to, I don't know, clean it up or box it in. Just, we'll see. We'll see. And then this top one here, I need to pull the engine out, um, clean up around where I had to weld to it so that way this bracket will sit flush to the frame. And then uh, put the engine back in, I'd assume. Or I need to put this, the ignition, the ignition back into this engine and then fix the, there we go, fix the ignition, the, um, gosh, brain farting all the time, for the magneto or the stator, so I need to put that on, I need to fix the uh, kickstart gear so that way it's not jamming up and it's correct but yeah i like the way that that came out down below um just it looks like a street bike i guess like rear mounted so it keeps the whole top nice and clean um I'll probably just give it a shot maybe see if i can't you know make that look clean and make a nice little slot to adjust it and if i can't then i'm gonna cut it off and make a whole new piece and start from scratch so i will i guess cut you back on when i notch that or once i figure out what i'm gonna do with this piece here all righty Okie dokie, so I uh, just went, obviously for the easiest thing possible first, was to drill another hole right below that hole on the front side of the rotor mount, and then just try to notch it out and drop the rotor just like a quarter of an inch, which worked out perfect. Um, the rotor clears fine now. Um, I even checked the brake um pads down there to see how it lined up with the actual caliper or rotor i'm sorry the actual rotor to see where it lined up on the disc and it lines up perfect so i can just rock that um the way it is besides getting a new uh hydraulic brake line to uh i'm gonna have to figure out a mount way i might just get like a small hollow piece of pipe or something cut it in little sections and just do a couple little tack welds so i can route the brake line nice and smooth kind of like a factory bicycle how they do it um but yeah i got the kickstart side off the bike because i thought that the uh the setup the, the whole spring setup that i had in there i thought i had it all wonky um, because this kickstart never returned. Doing a little more further investigation, there's supposed to be a spring that goes here and then a dust cover that goes around it. So I have to order that um, to be able to make the kickstart work properly and to reassemble it. Um, other than that, I have to, obviously, like I said, hook up the ignition, put the ignition on. I need to get a coil for it so I can uh, obviously have spark. Um, radiator hoses, I'm gonna measure that today and see what size will fit perfect for this. And um, I mean, the brake line, uh, that's kind of, it besides uh figuring out this stuff i already emailed uh cobra moto about the the parts that i need with the part number so that way they can see if they still have it because the motor is like a 2002 um but they're really cool so i've just been going straight through the factory to get parts for this engine to rebuild it uh just when i got it uh, it was used on eBay and it had blown rings on the top and I think that's it honestly I think it just one of the rings broke one was good one broke so I ordered new rings the cylinder looks mint the piston looks mint um yeah other than that everything was good the pipe was used also on eBay 
I had footage of it um, when I used, uh, filled the entire pipe with water, plugged each end of the pipe with a latex rubber glove and then taped it really tight so it couldn't leak, filled it from this end, put it inside my freezer, set it up so that way all the water would be down here at the expansion chamber spot where it had a huge dent and uh yeah it literally worked perfect um the only problem that i had is i left it in the freezer too long and it uh exploded on the one side which i already uploaded the video of me repairing the blowout so yeah um i will cut you back on when i do some more to it i'm not doing nothing yet but fedex guy just came dropped off some oil that uh the guy that sold me the go-kart uh was telling me that he used it or he uses it in his stuff uh it's a good brand clot so i figured i'd give it a shot gallon of it it's castor oil i'm gonna look into the castor oil so i can familiarize myself with what what it means and everything about it but yeah i know i'm gonna start running this now and um all my stuff this anything two stroke obviously which is all the expresses hopefully we get that one going soon the spree 50. i definitely want a big bore of that liquid cool it all kinds of jazz go hard on that this one too i love that one already but yeah no um some new oil i'm gonna give it a shot i'll let you guys know what i think like i said i already run the royal purple two-stroke mix i know that's not it but it's up there in the top but yeah i run that um i like it i mean but supposedly this will smell good too so we'll see how that goes right there uh waiting on a couple of other things i'm gonna start making a parts list here for this um stuff for the, the coolant lines which shouldn't be bad throttle cable i need to hook that up oh the brake line i don't know how i'm gonna figure that out but maybe i'll hit my local bike shop and yeah i might figure out an idea here for that because the more the more i don't it's just super close so i gotta figure out something to keep it away or beat the frame in right there which i don't really want to do that but i might come up with something but i'm loving the way that looks just obviously not till i finish my welds but yeah i'm gonna rock that for a bit i think but yeah that's the bike so far just got to bust out a few more things i thought this was going to take a lot longer than it did but uh, i guess i just had an idea of just playing with it i tried it over here i mean i tried it over everywhere obviously i didn't want it anywhere in the back i thought underneath looked cool plus perk of it is that with if i this is obviously supposed to go on the other side of the bike so if I had to try to, if I wanted it to keep the mount on this side, or every time I had it for the cable to face the front of the bike, the mount was on the other side. So I had to flip it over and, and then on this side or however, I don't know, either way, flipped it over and it was able to route the cable down below, which I'll end up either tying it in down here or just, you know, jumping up over here like that and just keeping it sleek up to the controls which are handlebars but yes my little ugly little tackies i just want to put one in here so that way it'll make this bracket one piece but i don't want to do it yet until i know i'm 100 percent sure on my spacing once i know that i'm confirmed that I, I don't need to space it out anymore or swing my motor anymore, then I'll make my final mount there. Um, but as of right now, I can still adjust the front mount a little bit and swing the motor, you know, 
and I mean not much because the rear but just you know there's there's play in it so I'm not fully you know stuck in that one spot so if, if I need to do some swinging I can still swing stuff around to make it work but yeah I know I might try to throw the throttle cable on I know I have a couple extra ones laying around we'll see if it'll work inside the uh in this car you know with the throttle tube I got but yeah I know the bike uh is coming along here soon I should be able to fire it up and listen to it rip oh I'm hoping the muffler will come in soon the silencer I'll probably end up chopping it here or something you know once I find out like the swing I want the pipe at which I like it kind of like where it is but might cut it like right here put the silencer on and then cut this tab off or whatever and make a mount off the rear end right here have the silencer kind of dump off to the side that way it don't blow oil on my brakes or on the bike or anything and it'll look cool a little you know a little side exit because it kind of lines up with the frame if i swing it like that a little bit it's even better so i got play it all depends on where i put my mount and how it uh sits inside the um how it sits inside the uh manifold i don't want to make it where it's cocky or uneven so it has a leak but yeah um that's it for the bike right now uh, i just have to order parts and and then we'll be able to put stuff more stuff together yeah <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah um have a good day have a good week be safe catch you later